Um, hi everyone, thanks for coming. So um, th these are these paintings are all mine, the ones on the wall. And they're about, I wanted to explore the connection between my two majors, science and art, and how I see them overlapping. So um, I study biology and art, and I really like looking at the natural world and studying animals and plants and nature. And as of over the past years as an art major and a science major, I've seen a lot of overlap. And so I wanted to explore the similarities between the two. So I was thinking about naturalists and how they would go out in the field and they were writing and sketching about everything they saw. And I've been thinking about how art can be used as a tool to study nature and to educate others about it. And just, um, I think it's a great way to understand and um, be able to focus and observe on small details. And so I was thinking about observation and how important it is for both science and art. And um, if you want to be a successful artist or scientist, you have to learn the skill of observation. And so um, these, for these, I was looking at, uh, I, I, was, I wanted to focus on animals that I've observed in the wild. And so each one is a different animal. And I was looking at different colors and shapes and patterns that I found striking to me and taking those areas and enlarging them and painting them. Um, and just this idea of being present in nature and being able to observe the small details and looking at everything and um, taking these were like smaller areas that I thought might go overlooked, but I wanted to really emphasize that and bring that into the light. Um, and so yeah, that's, that's what these are about. And I'm really happy you could all make it today, so. Thank you. And I'll be around for questions. Um. Can you tell us what animals they're all for? Um, I think I'm going to make you guess. <laughs> <laughs> and they're acrylic, is that right? Um, yeah. They're, there are um, <laughs> a lot of things. So uh, yeah, I used modeling paste for the texture and then um, acrylic for like most of the base layer of paint. And then I also used um, chalk pastels and oil paint sticks to kind of catch the texture and bring that out. So. These were all live exhibits? Or they were, they were all animals that I'd observed, and several of them were either all based off of photos that I took, but I did spend a great deal of time, like when I go out into nature, I'll spend a great deal of time observing with my eyes, and um, sometimes I'll make sketches, and I'll usually take photos of everything, and then I'll go back, I'll use photos for reference later, too, in my studio. But um, I used, um, for a lot of these, I used photos that I'd taken. And um, so this, these two are turtles. And I had, them <laughs> I had them, I had a picture of a turtle in my hand and I wanted to paint that. And I was looking at it and zooming in on it and I found like endless compositions in it because if there's so many different like intricate details on the underside of a painted turtle, which is what that is. And I just found the colors and the patterns really striking. Is that a fish, Sonia? Yes, it is. It's a sunfish, a long ear sunfish. So I also had that one in my hand in the photo. So that was when I was working as a, a fisheries assistant, like a field technician last summer, and I was studying fish in the Missouri Ozarks, and so that was one that I I'd, I'd picked up at work, and I just I had it in my hand. <laughs> Um, I liked the idea of enlarging something small and just the fact that these are all parts of something that it, I feel like they would usually, it's like something that would go overlooked most of the time. So the idea of enlarging it and making it like you can't miss it, like you can't overlook it. <laughs> 